Welcome to the third and final episode of the Evolution Cloud Accounting Podcast on the implementation of the Job Maker Hiring Credit Scheme in Australia. This episode focuses on the scheme registration and claim process. If you wish to read the content of this podcast, you can read our Job Maker blog article on our website, evolutionclouds.com.au. Registration for the JobMaker Hiring Credit Scheme Eligible employers must register their intention to participate in the JobMaker Hiring Credit at any time, even before they hire any eligible employees. Registration to the scheme opened on 6 December 2020. However, to receive subsidies for a specific job maker period, the registration must be submitted to the ATO by no later than the last day of such period. Registrations can be lodged directly by the employers through their business portal, or via their registered tax or BAS agent. When registering for the scheme, employers must report the following data. A head count of their active employees as of 30 September 2020. The total payroll expense for the quarter up to 6 October 2020. These values will form the baseline to determine the job creation eligibility criteria for the first four quarterly job maker periods. A summary of all job maker hiring and claim periods is available on our Job Maker blog article published on our website. Claim lodgement. Employers will need to submit evidence that the job creation criteria have been met for the quarter. From Job Maker Period 1 to Job Maker Period 4 inclusive. The employee headcount has increased by comparing the baseline headcount as of 30 September 2020 recorded during the registration process, with the headcount at the end of the relevant job maker period. And the payroll expense has increased by comparing the quarterly baseline payroll expense as of 6 October 2020 with the equivalent amount of consecutive pay cycles paid in the relevant quarter. For new starters, the baseline payroll expense is nil. However, the headcount baseline starts from one employee. New starting businesses will become eligible upon hiring their second employee. From Job Maker Period 5 to Job Maker Period 8 inclusive. The employee headcount has increased, by comparing the headcount recorded in the equivalent quarter the previous year, with the headcount at the end of the relevant Job Maker Period. And the payroll expense has increased by comparing the equivalent number of consecutive pay cycles for the relevant quarter with the same quarter the previous year. Based on the information provided, the ATO will automatically calculate the eligible employee's subsidy payable amount. Claims can only be made during the relevant claim period. No exemptions or extensions are currently available. Once the claim period has expired, employers are no longer eligible to make claims for that period. However, they can register and make claims for future periods. Job Maker – Employee Registration Employees must complete a Job Maker employee notice form once they commence employment and hand it over to the employer. The Job Maker employee notice is a declaration confirming the employee satisfies the following eligibility requirements. The employee is between 16 and 29 years old. Or 30 and 35 years old at the start of the scheme. The employee was eligible to receive one of the eligible government income support payments for 28 consecutive days within the last 84 days before the start of the employment. The employee has not nominated another employer for the Job Maker Hiring Credits Scheme. 
There is no change to how the employee is paid through payroll as the subsidy is paid directly to the employer. Employees' registration to the scheme is then notified to the ATO through single-touch payroll reporting. The ATO will cross-check payment information with Services Australia to identify employers that are incorrectly claiming job maker hiring credits. A copy of the Job Maker Employee Notice form is available for download on our Job Maker blog article published on our website. Thank you for listening to the third and final episode of our Job Maker Hiring Credits podcast. All episodes are available on our podcast channels, on Apple Podcast, YouTube or Spotify. We hope you enjoyed listening to our Job Maker podcast and you have found it relevant and informative. To listen to more podcasts from Evolution Cloud Accounting, please subscribe to one of our podcast channels to be notified when we post new topics. Thank you for listening to Evolution Cloud Accounting Podcasts.